Perez, welcome back to another price session training lesson. We're going to discuss how to identify high probability setups using price session rules. Right now, what I can see that the structure resembles quite a train range. So I want to mark my high of the day resistance and low of the day support because these key levels may come into play. They may not, but it is something as a price session trader I want to keep an eye on. I have a break in new extreme of this option of following the trend line rule, but also what I can see that even after there was a break and a new extreme here, price session continued trending to the upside strongly like this. And this gets my attention. This is concerning if I think about selling because you have a small break new high. Why is price session not reversing? Why is price session continuing to trade higher? This means this bullish momentum is a bit stronger. There can be a slightly wider channel. So these are the thoughts that are going through my mind. So I'm not really too excited to sell. Okay, we have a new high. There's no break higher healer for a century long. And now we have felt second inch long. What do you think? Is this a good felt second inch long to take or not based on what we discuss? This is not a good felt second inch long because we have overshoot. So we can have stronger pullback. The EMA didn't reject. We pushed back above EMA. This momentum was a bit stronger than we expected. And this resistance transformed as a support. So if I'm going to combine all of these things and how bullish this looks, I'm not selling just yet. I'm not really buying either because all options played out. I don't have any good channel just yet. Downtrend is in play. So this is pretty much area of indecision. I'm just waiting, not taking anything. We have flat EMA in all these bars. This is congestion area, no trade zone. And important here is to see how much this support is coming into play. Okay, it transforms as a breakout pullback pattern. You're getting the signs here that buyers are stepping into the market. You have high lows. And now we have new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, micro breakout pullback. Problem is, it is a double bar entry. You cannot go long above bearish bar. You need to wait for this bar to finish and drop your order. For this reason, I'm going to mark it more aggressive, but you can see high lows. The support is holding and you're at the EMA and this resistance is transforming as a support. So we have a second entry short, a little bit of a breakout pullback pattern. And price session continues working higher. So right now, it's pretty much obvious there has to be some bigger uptrend present because this support held, we continue working higher. So I'm looking for some channels and the best channel I was looking for was something like this because I have three confirmations here. I'm going to copy put it at the top resembles a spike and a channel. And this makes sense. Price session corrected a little bit longer, never managed to broke lower and this channel came into play. So my thinking right now is bullish. Okay. So I have second entry long. Can I go long? No, this is a bearish bar. I cannot buy a bar bearish bar. So I'm thinking, okay, if we're going to break lower and form secondary bar and it's going to be bullish, I might consider, let's see how it forms. And it's way too big. Okay. You can go long here if this bar is twice its size because you want to make sure you have enough room to scalp before reaching these highs. And sometimes you can take a deep limit order when you're trading a big bar, but you need to make sure you have enough room before the latest swing high. Here you're buying at the very top of the move. You can see at the high of the day almost. So dropping limit order is not good here. It's just too big. Our scalp was made, so I'm patient. And by the way, it is very close to news. You're going to see a little spike in volatility. So that's another reason why you don't want to take it. So don't trade around the news, but it's pretty much confirming our spike and a channel, which is good. This gives us a bullish bias. So our thinking is not to sell. I'm just waiting for a good setup, but this is right after news. So I'm not really interested in taking any setup. I'm just going to let the price action play out. Okay. We're trending lower. So right now, what is your mindset looking like? You have a confirmed spike in a channel. You expect a new high according to trend line rule. This is how price action works. Okay, there's a reason to every candle. It's not random. It's not RSI, stochastic, Wyckoff, harmonics. It is pure price action intentions of the buyers and sellers. So downtrend is in play. I can view it as first leg down, break second leg down. That's also another way how to view this. I have a lot of matching highs. A little bit sideways area. Either way, I want to see if I can entry short above EMA, okay? In order for me to go long. And if felt second entry short from here, but this is not a good felt second entry short I can take because we're still mainly below EMA. It's getting a little bit sideways. I want to see price action pushing above EMA and buyers staying above EMA. 
to truly know there's not going to be whip so we may get second leg down to this so we have a little bit of consolidation but notice what we had after we had a little bit of congestion breakout pull back high low so now we free ourselves from the consolidation and we're back above ema and this right here is a first great high probability setup it's a high low confirmation of the felt second entry short high low can also confirm felt second entry short you have your context correctly identified you have your key entry point so we're using the pattern to confirm the context okay as a price session trader remember don't make this mistake don't solely look for patterns because there are patterns all over the place look for structure and look for key entry point the pattern itself confirm the structure and key entry point we can see sellers are getting trapped so when we are above EMA, this is a great high low. You are expecting second entry long above EMA, but that's not forming far from the EMA. And notice the massive push to a new extreme. So once I saw this, this is not generally how price action looks after breaking a new extreme. So this is why I adapted to a wider channel. It's a little bit more subjective here. It still fits here and here and nicely is gliding right here. You can see the lows. I'm just going to copy, put it at the top and don't mind the overshoot just yet. I'm going to talk about this in the future because when I'm watching this live, it makes sense to treat this without overshoot because this is pretty much a strong uptrend. You can see minimal pullbacks, not even confirmation of the EMA, strong push phase. We have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. We can't go long. Now we have long off the EMA and you have a lot of room to scalp out before reaching these highs. So you can consider the problem is it is only visual second entry long but you cannot go long above this bar you need to wait for the follow-up bar and wait for trigger and then drop your limit order but you can see the downtrend played out this is important with the break and the new extreme this tells you that this momentum is over and sellers are no longer in the market so we widen the channel we identify this is quite strong high low doji far from the email i cannot take but now we have a felt second entry short because you select the count from the lowest point of this correction and you have new low first entry short, second entry short failure. This is a felt second entry short. It's a little bit high off the EMA, but because EMA keeps rejecting so strongly, it's good enough to take because there was strong bullish momentum. It looked very bearish. Once it touched the EMA, reverse up. And when you're watching this live, this is looking like a strong uptrend. So you can continue looking to go long. New high can reset. We have first entry long. We can't really take. Now, you have second entry long. Now, problem is, it's not even touching the EMA. This felt second entry short was better because it didn't exceed this high, like here now. And this channel right now is a breaking extreme. So, you know, it was tempting, but this is one of those trades where you can only justify based on gut feeling. So, make sure when you're taking a step like this, that you are aware and you accepted the risk because it's not fully at the EMA, you know, so a little bit concerning, but your gut feeling tells you that based on how EMA is rejected, it's most likely going to continue working higher. And price action is breaking lower, so always mark your corrections, okay? Never forget this, because it will help you to stay on the right side of the market, and you will let the correction play out. I'm not selling, though, because we were trading an uptrend. Okay, we have a trading range here. You can see flat EMA. And you have consistent pricing up and down. It's going sideways now. The downtrend doesn't have fully new extreme. Now we have another breakout pullback. But the signal bar is bad. I can also trade a little bit lower and see we're quite close. But you have one, two, three, four, five bar stacked, doji bar. Especially when there is no second leg for new low, we can't take. Okay, so right now when I want to go long, I want to see push above EMA now. We have two leg pull back down with new low, but because this secondary push was so strong, there is a chance that there's going to be another push to new extreme. Now you cannot just buy below EMA. In a situation like this, you always want to see the push above EMA and a felt second entry short. Okay? So we definitely have new extreme. So I'm just thinking about getting push above EMA because the buyers need to get new extreme. So we're correcting. Okay, can we get a felt second entry short above EMA? We have another consolidation here. Okay, we have a little bit of a breakout pullback, but the problem is the majority of this bar is still below EMA, you know, and you want to see EMA holding. So this is a felt second entry short, but not really a big fan of this. 
But now you have new high, percent too long, second inch too long. EMA keeps holding. Similar scenario. What happened here? You can consider going long here on the second inch long. It is stat stacked, so slightly more aggressive, but you could have considered because it is confirming the breakout pullback. It is a second inch long. I'm also drawing a wider channel like this. So there is no long now. I was expecting new high, but market completely reversed. Now there's a last chance that this support will hold. We're going to push above EMA and get held second entry short. But the sellers continue trending lower. Okay, and this changed everything. Because if the buyers are in the market and we're going to get new high, this is not the behavior that you would like to see. This is why you keep your mind open and objective. You never get married to one idea. You constantly need to check your belief system. This is not confirmation of bullish momentum. And if you get experience under your belt, you will see how price action reacts. When you expect new high, it will be followed by a push above EMA. So what I want to do is I want to explain why is this happening. And if I'm going to go back and reanalyze, there's probably a slight overshoot. I can draw it, you know, a little bit flatter without cutting the corners. If I'm going to draw it a little bit flatter, I'm going to copy put it at the top. I can see the price action form a tiny overshoot. It is not big. It even fits nicely right here of these highs. So I have to adapt now, okay? Generally, after overshoot, there is no continuous bullish momentum. So this is why it is tricky. But now you really have to convince yourself that there is something wrong. We are breaking lower so I can draw wider down chart. You can see how nice it is fits. This confirms your analysis, something is wrong. And we have second entry short. Okay, it is a clear two legged pullback. Uptrend played out with the break in extreme. Now problem is we broke above EMA first and the bar is quite big. I would like to see a lower high breakout pullback. You know, if your setup form a little bit better, there was one thing that I missed watching this live is this was a breakout pullback of this micro support. So this adds another reason to your analysis, which you can trust. So this is crucial, but it pushed above EMA. It didn't even take higher above this bull bar. You know, I really would like to see lower high confirmation setup. This feels a bit more aggressive the way it formed. Three and a half points, you're selling quite low, you know, can get a little high and we cannot. Okay, I'm going to redraw the short term uptrend and you can see that we bounce off the trend channel line. There's a push phase, correction phase, push phase, correction phase, push phase, correction phase, push phase. So you expect correction phase. I'm going to redraw uptrend. You can see this resembles one leg working higher. These are clear two legs and this is one leg working higher. Respect the channel. As long as this uptrend is in play, I cannot tell. Okay, we have a break in new extreme, but we are in the middle of no man's land. We are not at the key entry point. I cannot sell, I would need to see a lower high bill EMA. Okay, we have new extreme. So right now, what are you thinking? You're going to visually mark the tool like a pullback so you know what happened. This downtrend needs to get new extreme because we established the fact that there was overshoot. This channel fits nicely. So you're thinking about lower high because these two legs are so broad or felt like an inch long. Now, by the time we get lower high, it has pushed too far down. Generally, you wanted to see form somewhere around this area, close to the EMA after a break. And it's also not fully at the EMA, so even though it worked for a scalp, we can't really take it. Almost created the new extreme. I hope you had a good trading day. Good luck with your trading.